John, great to talk. Thank you. Thanks, James. Thanks, Mark. John Murrow there from Macquarie Private Wealth in Sydney. Let's talk uh, mortgages. We're joined from our Sydney CBD studio by Rate City Financial Analyst Peter Arnold. Peter, look, thanks very much for your patience uh, today. Uh, they've cut down to 2%. One of the big questions now is going to be, do the banks who have really cut their own offerings in terms of mortgage rates very, very low, do they follow suit or do you think there's going to be a reluctance out there? I think we're going to have an interesting situation over the next week. Uh, last rate cut back in Feb, we saw the major banks pass on either in full or above the RBA. We've also got a lot of smaller players who are fighting very aggressively, some as low as uh, 4.19 this morning. We'll wake up and t tomorrow that'll start with a 3. Goodness. Uh, but with the major banks, we know that APRA's on their case. They're trying to curb investment lending and, and how they'll manage that side of things uh, will be, be one to watch play out. Uh, how competitive? Give us an idea of how competitive the space is at the moment in terms of residential mortgage lending. We are seeing a lot of lenders competing very fiercely for those low rates. So we're seeing, as I said, 4.19 as a start. So a lot of, about five lenders in the 4.2 to 4.3. Uh, but what we do see is there's a big variation between just being on an average rate and being on one of those hot rates. So if you, if you were to switch from the average rate to the lowest rates, you're looking at three RBA cuts. Uh, so that's, that's a lot of money uh, either back in your pocket or straight into that home loan to pay it off quicker. Have we seen at all a migration towards fixed? And if not, would you expect that to, to, to start stepping up as people look to, to lock in these rates? Fixed rates are quite popular, and that, that's actually where the lowest rates are at the moment. We're seeing uh, quite a few lenders with fixed rates, starting with a 3, around 3.7. That will that'll probably go a little bit lower, but they've already been pricing in a bit of a rate cut. Uh, they are quite popular. Uh, not, not quite as popular as they were uh, late 2008 when uh, things were on the boil and uh, everyone, everyone was uh, fixing before it got even higher. That was going to be my next qu question, Peter. When have we previously seen these sorts of levels of, of low rates? rates. So th the, these, these are historic low rates. So home loan rates starting with a three, that, that's not something we've seen in, in recent history. Uh, mm. it's, it, is, it is very low. Uh, it's been low for quite a while now. Uh, it rates more than, uh, we're around double this uh, about seven years ago seven years ago. We've also seen since 2011 when the, uh, the, the, the cut started, we're seeing a typical variable rate mortgage, say $300,000 over 30 years. The repayments on that are around $500 cheaper than they were uh, after this rate cut's priced in. So uh, you know, we're, we're seeing uh, you know, very low repayments. It, it's going to be one to watch with the property market. Absolutely. The February cut uh, definitely spurred things on. So great time to be paying down your debt, getting ahead on your mortgage, uh, but think twice if you're, if you're loading up on debt, uh, because at some point rates will go up. Peter Arnold, look, really appreciate it. Thank you.